Ulanzi Photography Videography Lighting Garage Kit. One of the newest lighting kits from Ulanzi. And thank you, by the way, to Ulanzi for being picked for testing out these products. So Ulanzi did send this out to me for me to test out this kind of product, which is kind of interesting because, you know, it's a tiny little device. It's a lighting kit and it's pretty cool. You know, straight off the box, you know, Ulanzi Photography Lighting Garage Kit, you know, it is pretty interesting because you get to see this kind of mini light with these different kinds of accessories, which we're going to go through in just a second. In the box, there are a couple of things. Uh, there's, of course, the light, of course, itself, the stand that comes with it. You can do it however you want, however high you want it, however low you'd want it. But, you know, you can't, of course, do it that low. But what is this light specifically for? right there is a remote attached to it at the back where it has this clamp right here i don't know if you can see it but you can attach it to the bottom like that like so and you got it corded it up it connects to the usb it's right at the bottom c comes with the cord c to a and of course you just attach the c to the remote and then the a to a wall outlet and also you can actually use this outdoors even yes it works with an external battery pack it does <laughs> oh wait what was that all right so yeah you can actually use it that way if you need it but of course i don't know if you're going to be able to use that you know outdoors for this kind of a tiny light tiny but powerful it is but having that kind of a landscape of, uh, of an area for this kind of light, you're just going to go all the way down, shrink to the tiny spot for it to get lightened up. I don't know, but you can. So the additional accessories that this thing comes with are as follows. The a soft light diffuser, you know, for all those softer light scenarios, just to make everything look a little bit creamier and more even of a light area a standard lampshade standard lampshade to get you know direct sunlight towards having a circle rim a spherical lampshade to get all areas having like a softer kind of shade of light and of course a four leaf barn door so you can mimic or have more control into what you're going to put be putting your light into more shade into this side or this side just like how I've done here. You can get really creative with having these four accessories that is that comes along with this light. You just gotta brawn your mind. Over here, I've used a example for poker chips. Poker chips, you know, for all those, shout out to all those poker players out there using the soft light diffuser. You know, having everything as soft as possible. Nothing too harsh and everything else. What I have here is Luffy. I don't know if you guys noticed this guy, but he's a uh, he's an anime from One Piece, and I do have a couple of them. And this is what I've used for a standard lampshade, standard lampshade where it just directly hits to the product. Well, in this case, Luffy. And I've used here like uh, some controllers, PS5 controllers for the spherical lampshade. You know, just to try to get everything as possible that is lighting lit up. Yeah, something like that. This is mostly for product photography product videography anything that is just small enough and tight enough that you can actually use to do these things it's pretty cool it's pretty good there are about uh, 12 effects that you can use there's what bad bulb there's tv you know just to give that you know that kind of a sweet effect where you have that tv in the background like there's actually a tv turned on over there there's pulse. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Pulse. Storm. Put this behind your window. There's actually a storm going on. Oh god, paparazzi. Oh jeez. Oh please, no, no, please. No, no, no. Sorry. Autographs later. Jeez. That was kinda cringe, wasn't it? <laughs> Having a fire pit, fireplace, probably down here. 
I don't think it would be good in my office, but something like that. Explosion. I don't think the Kelvin levels are proper for that, for explosion. It has to be more yellowish, but. Oh, there's welding too, welding. So there's a bunch of couple things that you can be creative with when having these kind of features. Pretty cool. So the first dial, you handle the intensity. Second one, for your Kelvin levels. More cooler, more warmer, or less too warm. So I just like to keep things at 3200. There you go, 3200, 80% is well good enough for like product photography or anything like that. Of course, depending on your style. I even did like a fun little sequence of Lego stop motion. It was pretty difficult, but you know, it does the job. I know there are better people that can do this way better than I do, but you know, it was just a fun little thing that I get to learn on the process. So here it is. <laughs> D don't be mean <laughs> that's just something what I just came up with and uh, you know it's just uh, trying to keep up with things in life you know just to whatever things that would knock you down you just get back up and again and uh, do it again but thank you for reaching up till to this point of the video it was pretty fun it was pretty fun to shoot with this thing I have a little side project side uh, side works with it <laughs> thank you Thank you to Lanzi for sending this out to me. Thank you. All right, it was pretty fun. And to all of you guys, thank you for watching until this part of the video. I hope you subscribe, like the video, comment what you think about this thing. I did enjoy it, but I'll catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.